Ah, syempre, it's an honor. Uh, very overwhelming. Never in my wildest dreams that I think that na makukuha ko sa pool ng Gilas and a chance to be in the uh, final lineup. Um, especially playing under coach uh, Chot, who we know, who know that um, dinala niya nga yung Gilas Pilipinas sa uh, World Cup. Um, you know, it's really exciting for me. Uh, it's kind of difficult also because we're in the middle of the PBA season. But, you know, if the country needs you, you there's no excuses. Um, you need to represent the colors. Now, Gab, we all know that time and chemistry is definitely not on our side as the FIBA Asia Cup. Uh, the FIBA qualifies is already next week. But how is your team coping? How is the Gila's pool coping in terms of your preparation with the limited time that you have? Um, it's good that we only run one system and uh, as a member of Tropa Giga, I am familiar with the system of Coach Chot, so it's just really gelling and, and um, you know, coping up with uh, these young kids and how fast they are to uh, develop and to adapt to Coach Chot's system and to, you know, the professional players. So, um, you know, we were in training camp in Batangas and so we were able to practice with these kids. Uh, we still practice with them. You know, it's just familiarity. Given one more week of uh, preparation, I feel like we will be prepared. Now, you talked a bit about the kids, 30, Dwight, Juan, and uh, Ange Kowame, but these guys are relative veterans na sa Gilas Pilipinas scene. Can you tell us a bit about the development? Nila? Uh, nagulat ka ba when you saw them in person in terms of uh, their growth? Because they have been you know, uh, finding ways to get more experience throughout the past few months. You're right, Paolo. They're, they are definitely not kids, but their age just says so. But in terms of experience of these guys, these guys are playing internationally and they've played uh, in uh, the FIBA window. So, uh, if mas veterano pa nga sila sa amin eh, when it comes to um, international competition. So, they can also teach us, you know, uh, and share what they've learned and their experiences. So, it's, it's a good combination of both. And um, I'm really excited to play with these kids, and how, and I'm um, amazed how fast and fast how their their game matures. So it's really exciting. Now you you mentioned Gab and you refer to them as kids, uh, but then parang tanda na natin, <laughs> no? nga eh, But oh. then gelling with the team and the and the system of Coach Chot Reyes, um, how has that been progressing so far with the limited time that you have? And I guess what are you guys what are you guys doing to help them out uh, to absorb yeah. the system of Coach Chot Reyes? Sorry, I call them kids because he won sobrang bata. Oh, so oh, sobrang bata tama talaga. Naman yan, oh. tama naman. <laughs> the the others and si Juan. Ayo, yan na lang tayo. <laughs> <laughs> Naging roommate ko yan so many times when we were in Dubai and you know other places. So bata talaga. Eh. So that's why I call them. <laughs> oh, 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 so anyway, um, yeah, because coach shot system isn't really difficult. It's him allowing us to just play basketball, which is the name of the game. You know, we're having fun. So um, I feel like, you know, the time isn't really any problem. It's just the gelling. And I hope we, were, we are able to, you know, play some of the tune-up games, I guess, uh, coming to before the, uh, you know, before the tournament. But we were able to do that when we were in the bubble in Patangas. So it's really, uh, you know, I can't wait. I can't wait. Are you still the best shooter on the team with all of the new young uh, people coming in? Because we all know that they like to shoot too, Gab. Uh, tanongin nyo na lang sila. <laughs> <laughs> Sobrang humble. <laughs> Alright, no, that's, <laughs> oh, that's completely fine. Pero uh, all joking aside, Gab, uh, syempre, the excitement level is there. And uh, could you tell us a bit about how you find a way to separate? Okay, we're preparing for the PBA. At the same time, yes. we're also preparing to represent Gilas, uh, represent yeah. the Philippines in an upcoming international tournament. I think that's where the professional professionalism comes in, uh, the ability and the agility to uh, move on from the PBA conference and then focus on the Gilas tournament. It's uh, that's why we're called pros. You know, we're paid to do this job. You know, if uh, if the country needs a soldier, the soldier can't you know put some you know say some excuses that how why he can't serve the country. Pag kailangan ka ng ng Pilipinas, di mo naman Ay, wala akong preparation. Hindi, laban lang, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, uh, for me, it's for me, that's my analogy. If a country needs a soldier, a soldier just needs to represent his country proudly with honor no matter what the outcome is. 
Ang sarap gawin quote graphic yan, no? That was perfectly yan, said. No? I, I love that so much, Gab. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> Gab, thank you so much for your time and good luck for your preparations you. and your games that will start already next week. Now, Gilas Filipinas will be back in action by February 24 against Korea. You can watch your games on One Sports and One Sports Plus. Or why not catch it live? Tickets are now available via ticketnet.com.ph or call 8911-5555. Bea, magkamayan! <laughs> Wait lang. So, lower box tickets are at 500 pesos while upper box tickets cost 200 pesos. Laban Pilipinas. 